Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can very quickly create a new Java project using IntelliJ with the Maven build tool, and then simply add some unit testing. So having this IntelliJ page, we can either from an already existing project or from out here, click on new project. We will then very simply create a new project. Let's call it JUnit Tester. And we're going to be mainly using the build system Maven, which is the most important part. And then we can simply click generate or create. This then very simply creates a completely bare bone Java project with a source containing a main Java, for some main Java code, and also a test area already ready. But the main thing to note is that we have this POMXML, meaning it is a project built from Maven, so it's like a Maven structured project, but we do not have the dependency for JUnit yet. We can then manually simply copy paste the dependency in here, or using IntelliJ, we can actually have it do all the work. So let's actually not test main, but let's create a new Java class. I'm just gonna create a simple service. My service is just gonna have a public string get name method, which is taking an integer int called number. And based on this int number, we're just going to return. So if our number is smaller than zero, return. Let's just do a else return b. So if the number is smaller than zero, we're going to return a. If it's larger than zero, return b. Very simple. For integrity, then to do all the things we'd like to do, we can simply right click on service, show context actions, create test, and then using the newest version of JUnit, which is JUnit 5, we can see here that J or IntelliJ recognizes that JUnit 5 is not already found in this module. We can then simply click fix, which add the dependency to our POMXML, and we would then also like to create this service test inside a org example package inside our test area, which matches the position of our service class in the Java area. So if you now click OK, we will see that we have the service test. And if we also look inside our PumXML, we can see that we have added this dependencies area with the dependency for JUnit. We can then simply inside our service test. For some of you, it might not be loaded directly and you might need to like reload your Maven project, which can be done by right clicking on the right side of should be this Maven area, this Maven button, where you click on our JUnit test project and then this reload button, which then reloads and ensure all the dependencies from our PromXML is loaded in our project. Otherwise, we should simply be able inside our service test to create a, a test using the annotation for a JUnit test. We then do avoid get name test. And inside this test, which is very simply going to be creating a new instance of our service, service equals a new service. We're going to have a result, which is going to be a string result of our service dot get name taken in the number minus one, for example. We can then do an Assertions, which is the JUnit, like the main part of JUnit actually. So assertion dot assert equals in this case. So we would assert equal that our result is going to be equal to this expected result. And we know that when the number is negative, we expect the result to be A and then the result. So now we should be able to run our test. It creates an instance of the service. It calls the service with the get name method with a negative number, which should then return A, and the test should pass. So if we run this, give it a few seconds to run, you can see the test is running and the test passed. And just to do it a bit more properly, we might do get name negative number. We might also do a get name positive number. If I could spell, there we go. And let's say if it's the number is one, we would expect it to be B. And third but not last, 
often in a case with like this, we would also test for zero. And because of the way we did this implementation, it needs to be less than zero, so zero should also return B. And we can now just return the entire or run the entire test class, which is run all our three tests, and all three tests should be passing. So this is the simplest way of creating a new Java project using IntelliJ. And by adding the Maven structure inside our project when building everything, we can then very simply using either a manual approach of copy pasting this part into our PomXML, or as we did, we could right click, show context action, create test, and it highlights that it's missing test for this project. And it's simply using the fix it button to directly import our dependencies like there. So this is the simplest way of creating a new Java project, adding Maven as a build tool, and then set up a basic JUnit setup, allowing for some basic unit testing. And if you enjoyed this quick demonstration, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.